was born in a family of 11 girls and one boy, a joint family. We were proud to grow up in a house that was free of gender bias. We were fortunate to be groomed as self-reliant, educated, free-willed and disciplined children. I was interested in dance, so I pursued it and trained in Bharatanatyam. After my graduation, I wanted to teach. So I joined the school and started working as a teacher. When I was getting married, the only precondition I had was that I would continue working even after marriage. In my story, I had access to education, healthcare, and the opportunity to work. Most importantly, I could make my own choices for myself because of an environment and outlook that encouraged and enabled me. Unfortunately, millions of women don't have access to basic things like health care, water, sanitation and education. Then there are those who despite having all these have no access to employment and above all they don't have the power to make their own choices. In India women are discriminated against even before they are born. 700,000 girls are killed in the womb and from there onwards it's an uphill struggle for girls. The opportunity funnel just keeps on getting narrower and narrower for them. Nearly 45% of girls in India get married before the age of 18. 70% of women are not part of the workforce. All these numbers paint a grim picture. We could have been one of these statistics. This could have been you, it could have been me. Yes, my story could easily have been just like theirs. But I got lucky. Let me explain how. First, I got lucky through a lottery called births. I was born into a family that gave equal opportunities to girls and boys. Then I won a lottery called education because my family believed in the power of education, especially for girls. And then I met Mukesh. <laughs> Mukesh encouraged and supported me to pursue my passion be it education, dance or sports. Thus, I continued making my own decisions and my choices even after marriage. But my story could have been very different. Can the world be different from what it looks like today? I believe it's quite possible. India has a rich tradition of worshipping goddesses we worship Goddess Saraswati for knowledge, Goddess Lakshmi for wealth, Goddess Durga who destroys all evil. We also have a proud history of women leaders from all walks of life, from Jhansi Ki Rani to Indira Gandhi to Mother Teresa and many others. These women make us believe in a world with possibilities. A world where women have equal opportunities. A world that is better, not just for women, but for everyone. According to IMF, if the number of women who join the workforce in India were to increase the level of men, India's GDP would grow by 27%.